so friends let me move on to set number six in the topic algebra right so friends here is question number 23 so if 2 power x is equal to 3 power y is equal to 6 power minus z and our target to find what is the value of that expression right so 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z so friends listen carefully friends 2 power x all the three terms are equal right so let me do one thing friends listen carefully i'm just going to write this expression as 2 power x is equal to 3 power y equal to 6 power minus z is equal to some constant right so this can be written as 2 power x is equal to k right some constant right we don't know what about the constant similarly 3 power y is equal to some constant and similarly 6 power minus z is equal to some constant right so friends when we bring this x towards right hand side so this can be written as 2 into 2 equal to k power 1 by x right and similarly when we bring this y towards right hand side so this can be written as k power 1 by y similarly when we bring this z towards uh, right hand side this can be written as 6 is equal to k power minus 1 by z right so friends next is listen carefully friends uh, i think when we multiply both the terms right 3 into 2 the resultant will be 6 i am just going to multiply only the first and second term so when we multiply both the terms this can be written as 3 into 2 will be 6 so 6 is equals to k power 1 by x into k power 1 by y we know the value of 6 will be k power 1 by z so k power minus 1 by z is equals to k power 1 by x into k power 1 by y so finally this so friends listen carefully friends i think our target to find 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z right so friends i think this can be written as 1 is equals to i'm just bringing this k power minus 1 by z towards a right hand side right so this can be written as k power 1 by x into k power 1 by y into k power 1 by z because you know when we bring this k power minus 1 by z towards right hand side it will goes to the denominator right so k power minus 1 by z so when we bring to the numerator 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z you know a power m a power n and a power uh, z will be a power m plus n similarly when we apply this this can be done as k power 1 by x plus 1 by y plus 1 by z and similarly here it is 1 friends listen carefully anything power 0 will be 1 right so k power 0 will be 1 so finally when we cancel k and k so we got an answer for the expression that is 1 by x plus 1 by y and 1 by s z is equal to 0 so answer for question number 23 that is 0 question number 24 if x minus y is equals to x plus y divided by 7 is equals to x y divided by 4 so friends our target to find what is the numerical value of x y right so friends listen here friends this question is like a previous question right where all the three terms are equal so this can be written as x minus y is equals to x plus y divided by 7 is equals to x y divided by 4 so all three values is equals to some constant that is k right so finally this expression can be written as x minus y is equals to k and uh, x plus y is equals to 7 into k will be 7k and the last term xy is equals to 4k so friends listen here friends our target to find what is the value of xy the value should be a numerical value right it should not be any expression right so we need to find what is the numerical value of xy so friends i think uh, if by using this both the expression if I, if we find what is the value of k so that we can substitute the value of k here to find the numerical value of xy right so friends listen carefully friends let me assume this is equation number one and this is equation number two right so friends i'm just going to do two square minus one square so that we can easily get what is the value of k listen here friends two square minus one square so two square will be x plus y the whole square so minus of one square so one square will be x minus y the whole square this equals to two square that is 7k the whole square will be 49k square and minus of one square that is k square will be k the whole square will be k square so 49 k square minus k square will be 48 k square so this can be written as 48 k square so friends here it is a plus b the whole square and here it is a minus b the whole square so a plus b the whole square will be a square plus b square plus 2 a b so minus of so here it is a square so plus b square minus 2 a b is equals to 48 k square so friends i think here at x square 
and here it is minus into x square will be minus x square so we can cancel both the terms similarly here it is y square and here it is minus into y square will be minus y square so plus y square minus y square we can cancel it so once here it is 2xy so minus of minus will be plus so 2xy plus 2xy will be 4xy so this can be done as 4xy is equals to 48k square so friends listen carefully friends we know value of xy will be 4k so when we substitute xy is equal to 4k is equals to 48k square so 4 into 4 will be 16k is equals to 48k square so we can cancel k and k so next is k is equals to 16 divided by 48 so we can say that k is equal to 1 divided by 3 right so finally we found what is the value of k so if we find what is the value of k then we can easily find what is the numerical value of xy why because we already know that xy is equal to 4k and 4 so finally we found the value of k that is 1 by 3 so finally this can be done as the value of xy that is numerical value will be 4 divided by 3 so friends finally we got an answer for question number 4 that is 24 that is 4 divided by 3 question number 25 if x square is equal to y plus z and y square is equal to z plus x and z square is equal to x plus y. So by using this value we need to find what is the value of that expression that is 1 divided by x plus 1 divided by 1 divided by x plus y plus 1 divided by z plus 1. So friends uh, here it is x square is equal to y plus z right but here it is x plus 1. So only way is if I need to bring this as x plus 1. So friends listen carefully friends I am just going to add x in left hand side and also in right hand side. So this expression can be written as x square plus x is equals to y plus z plus x right. Similarly here I am just going to add y in left hand side and also in right hand side. So this can be written as y square plus y is equals to x plus y plus z. Similarly here I am going to add z to left hand side and also to the right hand side. So this can be written as z square plus z is equals to x plus y y plus z right i think uh, here when we take x as common so this can be done as x plus 1 is equals to x plus y plus z so our target to find what is the value of x plus 1 right so x plus 1 is equals to x plus y plus z divided by x so when similarly when we take y as common so this can be done as y plus 1 is equals to x plus y plus z so finally we can say that the second term y plus 1 is equals to x plus y plus z divided by y so similarly we can say that the z terms will be x plus y plus z divided by z so friends now our target to find that is we need to substitute the value of z plus 1 and y plus 1 and x plus 1 to find the value of that expression right so friends when we divide this 1 divided by x plus 1 can be written as listen here friends when we substitute x plus 1 is equal to x plus y plus z divided by x so this can be written as x divided by x plus y plus z so when we substitute the value of y plus 1 here so the y goes to the numerator so y divided by x plus y plus z similarly when we substitute z plus 1 in the third term so this can be written as z divided by x plus y plus z so friends when we take lcm as x plus y plus z this can be done as x plus y plus z divided by x plus y plus z so when we cancel both the terms the resultant answer will be 1 so finally it's one of the easy question right so finally we can say that answer for question number 5 that is 1 question number 26 if x plus 1 by x is equal to 5 then the value of x power 4 plus 1 by x square so divided by x square minus 3x plus 1 is so friends by using this value we need to find what is the value of that expression right so i think uh, here it is x power 4 but here it is x square right let me do one thing friends let me simplify this given expression this can be written as x square plus 1 divided by x is equal to 5 and uh, finally this expression can be written as x square minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 right because uh, here it is 5 and here it is x so when we multiply the resultant will be 5x so when we bring this 5x towards left hand side it will be minus 5x so x square minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0 friends listen here friends but the denominator is x square right and here it is 3x but here it is 5x so I think this expression can be written as x square minus 3x minus 2x plus 1 is equal to 0. 
because minus 3x minus 2x the resultant will be 5x but our target to bring this expression that is minus 3x so this can be done as x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x so finally we got an answer that is x square minus 3x plus 1 is equal to 2x that is the denominator part right i think when we substitute the denominator value that is x power 4 divided by x square that is 1 by x square we know the value of x square minus 3x plus 1 will be 2x so i can write this as 2x right so i think uh, let me take this two common friends so when we take this two as common so this can be written as x power 4 plus 1 divided by x square divided by x right and i think this can be written as 1 divided by 2 so friends x power 4 divided by x will be x cubed right so 1 by x square into x will be 1 by x cube so friends finally we have converted the given expression in terms of a cube plus b cube right i think many times i'm repeatedly saying this formula so a cube plus b cube will be a plus b the whole cube so minus of 3 a b into a plus b so remember that the value of a will be x and the value of b will be 1 by x so this can be written as 1 by 2 into 2 into so friends a plus b the whole cube that is x plus 1 by x the whole cube so minus of that is 3xy into x plus y so 3 into x into y so 3 into x into y into x plus y so friends remember that you should know all the formulas right if you need to crack a question you should buy out all the formulas no other way so friends i think we can cancel x and x right so this will be only 3 and i think we already know the value of x plus 1 by x will be 5 we can directly substitute the value of 5 here friends this can be done as x plus 1 by x will be 5 cube so minus of 3 into x plus 1 by x will be 5 so i think 1 divided by 2 so 5 cube will be 125 so 5 into 3 will be 15 so finally this can be done as 125 minus 15 will be 110 right so when we cancel this 5 2s are 10 reminder will be 1 again 5 2s are 10 so finally we got an answer 55 right one of the interesting question so finally we got an answer for 55 that is for last question 26th question in set number 6.